This is Mrs. Scott Nikki, and today I am going to share with you a quick screencast lesson about using the formatting tools within Google Documents to format a works cited page according to MLA guidelines. You may have chosen not to use Noodle tools. Um, Noodle tools will of course do this for you, but um, if you have chosen not to use Noodle tools, let me show you or walk you through the process of setting up your own works cited page. As you can see here, what we have is a demo of a works cited page, um, but things pretty obviously don't look quite right. So for example, um, some of these are in, you know, some things seem to be justified over here on the left hand side. Some of these look as though they're tabbed in. This entry doesn't look quite right. This one over here is way too far inside. This entry is set up so that it is double space, but everything else here is single space. Right now, nothing here is alphabetized. Um, by the first item. So I'm going to do take some steps right off the bat to get this looking more like it should look. Um, and I'm noticing a couple things as I do that. First of all, I'm noticing that there's an entry in here more than once. That's a no-no, right? Your works cited should only include each entry one time. So in this particular, uh, on this particular page, uh, the writer has this entry both in pink and green, and so their notes presumably are one color or the other, but not both. And so therefore, um, what I'll do is remove this for the sake of the demonstration, but this particular student is going to have to figure out whether this is a green citation or a blue citation. Um, I'm also going to remove any extra spaces here um, that, that seem to be showing up. I'm going to backspace and get all of these citations right on top of one another. I'm going to jump over a tab because in this one I have everything alphabetized already so now I just have to go through the process of hitting the backspace um, key or the delete key um, to remove these extra spaces, um, extra blank lines in between the citations um, and that'll be important because in a minute we're going to grab everything um, now it looks like a big chunk of text. Now we're going to grab everything and we're actually going to do um, the formatting. So first off, we're going to make sure that the font is the same throughout. So MLA formatting rules dictate Times New Roman is the font of choice and the font size is 12 points. So I'm going to choose that. Then Works cited pages need to be double spaced, so I'm going to use the spacing tool up here on the menu bar and to double space everything. And then finally, so now you can see it's starting to look a little bit more like a works cited page. The last step for the formatting is to grab this indent, this triangle that's up here on the ruler, and drag it over here half an inch to the right. And then I'm going to move my cursor up just a tiny bit and I'm going to grab that left, that rectangle and drag it half an inch back to the left. And what that's going to give me are hanging indents. And now you can see that, oh yes, this is looking much more like a works cited. And notice that the first item it is, is determining the order. So this is the order um, that this page is set up with D being at the beginning of the alphabet and W um, being down at the bottom. All right. The last thing I need to do is to add a title. So I'm going to delete the directions at the top, type in works cited so that it's clear what this page is all about. I'm going to highlight it and then use the, the alignment tool up here on the menu bar and center alignment, center align it. Now it's not double spaced yet and it should be so I'm going to again use that line spacing tool and choose double so that the whole page is double spaced. When it's said and done works cited should not be bold, it shouldn't be underlined, it's just regular old Times New Roman 12 point font. Um, and again I have deleted my excess citation 
and everything is alphabetized, it's double-spaced with hanging indents. And then you have a complete works cited page.